Amongst the most important tools in Fusion are the loader and the saver. A loader brings footage into Fusion and a saver writes footage out of Fusion back to your file system. In between loader and saver, the artist works his magic. In the process mode drop-down of the loader, different modes can be selected for dealing with fielded footage instead of full frames. The global in and global out control determines the range of frames your loader is active for within the composition. In the file tab, the path to the files is selected and dedicated proxy files can be assigned. Trim in and trim out allows to use only a portion of the clip. Hold first and hold last frame generates a still image of the first or last frame of the clip respectively, which then is displayed for the selected number of frames. There are also options for reverse and loop playback of the clip. The missing frames drop-down determines what should happen if missing or invalid frames are encountered in the clip. Drag a loader onto the time ruler to set the render range according to the loader's valid extent. As opposed to most other tools in Fusion, Loader and Saver dynamically show or hide available options, depending on the file format they are handling. In this example, we are loading a JPEG sequence. The Format tab does not offer any additional options in this case. This one loads a DPX sequence. Since DPX files can be logarithmic or linear, the Format tab offers options like black and white level, film stock and conversion gamma, as well as a drop-down with different log types to achieve the correct log-to-lin conversion. Depending on the selected log type, there will be different options for further adjustments. Alternatively, the conversion can also be set to bypass for linear DPX files, as in this case. When loading EXR sequences, the Format tab offers options to map the EXR channels into Fusion's image channels. In the Saver, the path, file name, file type and associated options are defined. When changing the file extension, the available options will change accordingly. For example, when writing out EXRs, the Saver's Format tab will offer the same channel options as the loader. When writing out DPX, the Format tab has the LogLin conversion options. And for JPEG, there are the compression options. Keep in mind that Fusion is a node-based system. This means that multiple savers with different output paths, formats or resolutions can be connected to the same tool. Once your savers are set up, Click the Render button to start rendering the composition.